What's up you guys? It's your friend Cat Sketch today. We are doing a body painting and no, I am not naked. I do have a sleeveless top on. To do a makeup of Spider-Man, I decided to do my absolute favorite superhero and FYI, I am still sick unfortunately, but I decided to do this video anyway, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So first of all, we are going to delete our eyebrows or flatten them down so that we could paint on top of them using glue stick and powder. I do about four layers of glue and powder, put glue stick down and some RCMA no color. I do about four layers of this. Depending on how thick your brow hairs are, will determine how many layers of glue and powder you will need. And once you're done with all those layers of glue and powder, and they are completely dry, we are gonna start doing a low braid. Reason for this being is we are going to put on a bald cap, but if you're doing this makeup at home, you do not have to use a bald cap. I just wanted to make it really realistic, like if I was doing cosplay and painting on a whole entire Spider-Man costume outfit. Once you have your low braid, I'm going to spray my hair with some hairspray to get all the baby hairs out of the way because we're gonna put on this bald cap which is so creepy looking. I love using plastic bald caps or you could use latex bald caps. Plastic is just easier to melt the edges into a smooth surface. I cut the edges of the bald cap to fit my head and then I'm gonna get some Prosade with the disposable makeup sponge to put it on the edges of my hairline and forehead to fit the bald cap and make sure it adheres to my head. I put the top of my forehead down first and then slowly, gradually, put the sides down near my neck. We want it to adhere it all the way to the back. You may need help with this if you're doing a bald cap. Do not get it on your hair at all so that it doesn't get near the ponytail. And then I'm using some acetone to melt the edges to make them smooth. Since this is a plastic bald cap, you can only do this with plastic bald caps. Now, I'm getting a red stipple sponge with some liquid latex to stipple on the edges of the bald cap to make it nice and even. We wanna do this around all the edges to make it look like there's no seam, that this will look like a full costume without just a random object glued to our forehead to make it look like we're bald. Now just getting a hair dryer to make sure the edges are completely dry to this bald cap so that we can start painting on it. But first we're gonna put some translucent powder and then I'm getting my all time favorite white cream paint. This is the Makeup Forever White Face Base. And I'm painting that around the eyes so that we won't get creasing. That's why I'd rather put cream paint here instead of aqua paint. And I'm doing the eye part of Spider-Man. You really wanna look at reference pictures. He's very similar to Venom, of course, with the eyes and the size of it, but he has these very slanty big eyes that go above the brows to the forehead. They almost look like cartoon eyes if they were melting and going to the back of the head. Once you have those areas of the white eyes and the cream paint on, we are gonna powder it down to make sure it doesn't crease and set it all. And now it's time to get the red aqua paint. I love using Wolf Brothers for projects like this where I need it very, very pigmented and I'm covering a large surface area because I find that Wolf Brothers has more of a waxy consistency. So it's a lot more pigmented than most brands of aqua paints. I used a smaller brush at first around the eyeballs and nose, areas that I need fine detail. And then I got a very big brush. This is a foundation brush. That's just like a cheaper brand one. And I'm gonna cover the rest of my forehead and face and around my chest and body as well. You could do one or two layers of this depending on what type of aqua paint you have. I wouldn't suggest using cream paint because it'll be very sticky, it will crease a lot, and it won't dry down as nice. And please, whatever you do, do not use lipstick because that might stain your whole skin. Now, once it looks like you bathed in Kool-Aid, I'm gonna get some dark blue aqua paint and paint it around my armpit area to look like Spider-Man's costume. Just in these areas and the parts where it's blue, and I'm putting black aqua paint in fine detail around the eyes to really make an outline, make it look more cartoonish, but at the same time, give it so much more detail. And once you're done with that, we're gonna get a thinner paintbrush and do the line detail. That is so incredibly hard of Spider-Man. As you can see, we start out with a small square on the bridge of her nose and then pull that line across your mouth and your chin and then keep continuing to make a spider web formation around your face. You really wanna get a pigmented black aqua paint for this 
If you use eyeliner, I'm afraid it will skip. Black aqua paint is just so much smoother and give you more fine lines. Do not draw these through those white eyes, please. It kind of looks like a sunburst design and then you're gonna do the webbing of the spider's web across the face starting from the middle of it. You wanna do the webs in like a slight U shape. Really look at reference pictures for this. And then once you're done with the face, we're gonna move on to the neck and body. This could be so difficult, this graphic design on the body and the face especially. The body is also hard. But then, once you're done with that, we cannot forget the graphic design of the spider on Spider-Man's chest. It's so iconic. This is actually just as hard as doing the webbing. You really wanna look at reference pictures of the spider because it has very long legs. The legs are shaped in an actual formation on the chest. And then with a the blending brush, bring it some matte gray eyeshadow or matte black eyeshadow tapped very lightly on the whites of those eyes to give it more shadow and dimension to make the eyes look like they're popping out even though they're not popping out but it's going to give some dimension on the mask make it look more 3d we're doing some shadow near the bridge of our nose under those eyes and in between it on our face looking at reference pictures and on our chest this is where you want to do the shadow to make it look like we have pecs or muscular body formations that Spider-Man has and I don't. Maybe also because I'm female and Spider-Man was male. Then I'm getting some white aqua paint and tapping it very lightly in spots to do some highlight marks on the top of the eyes and on certain parts of the body as well, like our shoulders, around those black cobweb lines, and on the tip of the nose. And after that, we are completely done with our Spider-Man body painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Spider-Man has always been my all-time favorite superhero. Even though I have arachnophobia and I'm scared of spiders, I love Spider-Man because he was just a regular nerdy guy who fell in love with his school crush. And something really bad happened to him. Multiple things, being bit by a spider, his uncle passing away. And those bad events changed his life drastically, but he took them and tried to do better things with his life. And that is just so inspiring to me. So that's why I've always loved Spider-Man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now it's time for me to turn back into myself. I'm so sorry I was sick while doing these voiceovers. I actually have bronchitis and I hope I get better soon. Thank you to my friend and editor Jen for helping me out while I'm sick. I'll put her links down below. She's an amazing human and she is so helpful and so sweet. If you want to know the best way to get rid of makeup, especially body paints, you really need to check out a product like Clinique's Take the Day Away Cleansing Balm because it is my favorite. It gets off everything. I'll put it down in the description box below along with everything I use in this video. And then after that, you wash it off and then use micellar water. Subscribe for more videos like this on Makeup Mondays. And of course, these effects Fridays. More to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do this makeup or any makeup on my YouTube channel, so challenging, but that'd be so great. Post on Instagram and hashtag catsketch. Tag me in your pictures so I can see them. I would love to see them. I can't wait to be 100% again. I'm still really trying to do these videos. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.